Hey, this is Eric with Web App Reviews, where we highlight the best Chrome web apps and extensions for education. Today we're taking a look at a web app called GeoGebra. GeoGebra is a free online tool for interactive geometry. You can find this web app in the Chrome Web Store, um, or you can just use the shortened URL tiny.cc slash geogebra-app, and that'll get you right here to this spot in the Chrome Web Store. Now, as a previous math teacher, I believe that math can and should be fun. One way to make math fun is to make it hands-on and interactive and inquiry-based. Then instead of simply telling students a formula or a rule, the students can discover it for themselves. And that really helps them understand and own the ideas. A great tool to help teachers accomplish this is GeoGebra. Here's how it works. So let's say I've already got it installed like I have here. I'll open up a new tab and in here I'll see all my apps and there's GeoGebra. Just go ahead and give a click on that and it will now launch in its own tab and bring up the program. All right, well here's where we can create and manipulate our geometric figures and we've got lots of tools to help us do that. For example, if I come up here in the toolbar, you'll see I can make a, a new point. I can uh, do intersections between points, midpoints. I can do uh, lines, segments, rays, vectors, perpendicular and parallel lines, bisectors and tangents, and polygons, and lots of stuff. We've got circles and arcs and ellipses and angles and reflections, rotations, translations, dilations, on and on and on. And on. Lots of great tools up here to be able to create geometry. Now, once we do this in a minute, you'll see that whatever we create, we can also manipulate. We can move it around, and that allows the students to discover the neat relationships between all the objects. It's also worth noting here that if I go up to the File menu, um, I can save and open from Google Drive, which is really nice. That way, no matter where I'm at or my students are at, um, it's very easy to get to their work as well as to share their work with each other or me with my students. So very cloud-based even in the saving and sharing. Well, let's go ahead and try an example here. So let's say that I want to teach my students that the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. That's a very normal geometry rule that you'll usually cover in uh, early on in geometry. And so I could just tell them that. I could say, hey guys, this is just the way it works. The angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Or we could let them discover that themselves. Here's how we could do it. We could have them come in here and choose the polygon tool and um, say, hey guys, go ahead and draw a triangle. So they got to click one, two, three times, and then a fourth to close that polygon off, and they have created a triangle. Now at this point, remember it's all interactive. They could click on the pointer option, and they could grab any of the vertices, and they can move them around. So anything they create, they can also manipulate. Okay, It doesn't stay static, which is great. Well, in addition to that, we can have this program do measurements for us. So we've got this triangle here. I could go back up to the toolbar where the angle measurement option is, and I could say, I want to measure an angle. Click on that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on any two sides, and it's going to measure the angle between them. So if I click on segment AC and segment AB, it's going to go ahead and create um, angle alpha, the measurement of the angle that's there at vertex A. And it's going to put it down here in the window on the left hand side. Then I'll click on segment AB and BC and there's that angle beta and then segment BC and AC and there's that angle gamma. And so now I've got all my points, I've got my segments, I've got my angles and again totally interactive. Could grab any of these points and as I move it around the angle measurements change, the lengths of the sides change and so on. Well, to take this one step further now, we could have the students actually add up the three angles. And there's an input box down here at the bottom that allows us to put in our own formulas. So let's say I'm going to let letter M stand for measurement. Uh, I can pick any letter, that's fine. We'll just do M. And we'll say that M equals, and I'll come over here and grab some of my Greek letters. I'll say it equals alpha, that first angle. And then I'll say that that's plus beta, the second angle. 
and then throw another addition sign in there and say plus gamma, the third angle. So alpha plus beta plus gamma, press enter, and there we go. Underneath the angle section, M equals 180 degrees. At this point now, the kids could again move things around, move the vertex, move you know, you know whatever points that I want to move around so that my uh, angles change. But no matter how the angles change, no matter how acute they get, no matter how obtuse they get, I still see that it always adds up to 180 degrees. So a nice interactive way for students to discover that relationship rather than just being told. Now that's just one very, very quick example. Lots and lots of stuff you could do with this great web app. And what I'd encourage you to do is go up to the help menu where you'll see there's help and tutorials and something called GeoGebra Tube. Give that a click and it'll open up a new window where they've got lots and lots and lots of great videos that take you through lots of other ways that you could use this with your students. So that's just one quick example of how GeoGebra could be used in school. Well, hey, thanks so much for watching the video and be sure to visit webappreviews.org where you can see all of our reviews as well as submit your favorite apps and extensions. Thanks so much.